Okay, let's talk about uh, the Jupyter computing system. As I just mentioned, Jupyter is a cloud computing system for performing data analysis online, which means you don't need to install any software, but you are able to use this online system to analyze data and find useful information from the data set. This is very exciting to business analysts. You can find this system or project on Jupyter.org. Notice that you have a Y in the middle, not an I. The web address is not as same as the planet name Jupyter. It should be J-U-P-Y-T-E-R.org. I think uh, the computer scientists wanted to be cool sometimes as well, right? So they play some worse game by changing I with uh, Y. The project web address should be jupyter.org. Once you type in this web address, you can see this project homepage. This page shows a brief history and the functionality of the Jupyter project to everyone. You can take a look at the overview about this project if you are interested in the history, in the documentation, and so on. In this lecture, let's focus on the functionality of Jupyter. Let's scroll down the web page to the middle of this page. And then you can see two buttons. Try it in your browser and install the software on your computer. Of course, you can install Jupyter as you did for other software on your computer and then you can analyze data on your computer locally. But I want to showcase the cloud computing key feature of Jupyter. This really makes Jupyter stand out from uh, the uh, data analysis software population. Let's click uh, Try it in your browser. What you are seeing are called the Jupyter interface. As you can see, it provides several different programming options to programmers or data analysts who are good at different languages. For instance, if you are good at the R software, you can perform data analysis by clicking this option. If you are good at Python, you can perform data analysis or write Python programs by clicking this option. Let's use Welcome to Python. Let's click uh, this one. This is the Python programming interface in Jupyter. What we want to do is to click uh, the plus button in the upper left corner. Then you can see a new script area show up in the interface, right? This is called uh, a cell in Jupyter, as the name shows here, cell. It is a programming script. You can type in any comments you want to execute in a Jupyter cell. Since everybody is new to Jupyter, I want to use a simple example to show everyone how to use this system. Do you remember when we learned the uh, Python? I introduced uh, the concept of uh, list to everyone. Suppose I have a list, I call it my list. This list has uh, several textual elements. There are a bunch of uh, car brands. So I have a uh, BMW, comma, and then single quotes, Toyota, and then another comma, single quotes, Honda. I have uh, three textual elements in this list variable, my list. Notice that I include the textual data by using single quotes. And then I introduced the building function for a list variable, such as append, remove, and so on, right? Let's use append. Let's say I want to add a new element into the list, a new car brand. I want to add a GMC to the end of uh, my list. Which function should I use? Append, right? I use my list dot append parentheses and then single quotes 
TMC. After the second statement, basically we added a new element, TMC, into my list. How can we see this new list? We create a new line and then type in my list. Some classmates may have a question. How can I execute uh, the Python codes in Jupyter? If you are using a Windows PC, press the Shift key and the Enter key at the same time on your keyboard. If you are using a uh, Apple Mac, you do the same. Press the Shift key and the Return key on your keyboard at the same time. This shows a very nice key feature of uh, cloud computing. No matter which operating system on your site, you follow the same rule, you execute the same codes, use the same function provided by a cloud computing platform. No matter which system you are using, if you want to execute the Python codes in Jupyter, press the Shift key and the Enter key or Return key on your keyboard at the same time. Let's try it out. Now you can see the output result, right? I get the new list. In this new list, I have a, a additional element, DMC, show up in the new list. This is how you use Jupyter to execute uh, Python code. As you can see, Jupyter is a very powerful system. We didn't install the software at all, but uh, it is able to understand Python codes and execute the codes in the cloud. This is very nice. Another good feature of Jupyter is we can download whatever we are developing in the cloud into our computer. Next time, if we want to restart the development, we can upload the code into Jupyter and continue from where we stopped. Let me show you the feature. First, we want to give a name to our current development. Suppose we want to save this code into our computer. We want to save it as uh, myjupyter1. Let's click uh, the file button in the upper left corner. Click uh, file. And then click uh, rename. Click uh, rename. And then change the name to myjupyter1. And then click OK. Now you can see we created a name to the current development project. It's called uh, myjupyter1 now. Now I want to save this project into my computer. Let's click uh, File again, and then click uh, Download As. Then you can save this project into different formats. Let's use Notebook format. Click uh, Notebook. And then you can save the development into some uh, scripts. You can save it uh, anywhere you can find it on your computer. Let's say I want to use uh, the desktop. It's easier to find. And then on your desktop, you should be able to find uh, myjupyter1.ipynb. This is the format that saves the development codes. Let's say I want to close the current development. Let's close the web browser. And then I want to restart this project. Let's open a web browser. You can use any web browser since it's a cloud-based system. So web browser or the operating system really doesn't matter. Let's go to Jupyter. J-U-P-Y-T-E-R dot org. And then let's go to try it in your web browser. This time, we want to upload our current development into the Jupyter system, right? We already developed some projects parts. We want to click uh, the Upload button in the upper right corner. Click Upload. And then find the code you just saved. It's uh, my Jupyter one Click uh, Open. And then click uh, Upload. And then you can click on it, my Jupyter 1. This is 
this is a current project you have. This is very nice, right? Think about it. What if you work in a development project team? You are in the US and your team are scattered around the world. Some of them in different countries in Asia, in Europe. It will be very nice if you can use Jupyter system to share the development you have done with your team members. That will increase the efficiency of a development team. This is very great. So in this lecture, you learned the key features of Jupyter. After this lecture, please try out by using the examples I showed in this lecture.